Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to MIDI map the American Audio 14 MXR to your Serato Scratch Live software. Now, you must have a Serato box connected to the 14 MXR for the mixer to be MIDI mapped to the Serato Scratch Live software. Before we start any MIDI mapping, click on the setup button to make sure the 14 MXR is showing up as a connected MIDI device. Click on setup. You're going to go to this MIDI device box here and just make sure your 14 MXR is in fact showing up as an audio MIDI device. And let's get started in MIDI map deck number one. So let's go ahead and let's MIDI map our basics. Our play button is right here. So once you just hover over that play button, it's going to turn into a gray box. You're going to click your mouse one time and it will turn like a burgundy red. We're just going to call it red and we're going to choose our play button. It turns green, which means that it has been assigned to a MIDI input. Let's go ahead and uh, get some of these cue points here. We have three cue point buttons on the 14 MXR, so let's get them all dialed in. So float over, click, hit button number one on the 14 MXR, and you are now MIDI mapped. Let's go to cue point number two, scroll over, click again, hit cue point number two, cue point number three. All right, so we're all taken care of. So we've now MIDI mapped our play button and three cue point buttons on the 14 MXR with our Scratch Live software. Let's head on over to the right deck, our deck number two, and let's do the same. Play button, click, hit the play button on the 14 MXR, turns green. Let's go to our cue point number one, cue point number one, cue point number two, cue point number three. We're hitting number three on the 14 MXR. Okay, so we now have our play button and three cue points now mapped on our Scratch Live software. We're gonna go ahead and head over to this show MIDI panel. We're gonna click on it and let's get the left deck or deck number one to load a deck or load a track. So we're gonna scroll over this, we're gonna click on it again, and we're gonna go ahead and use the load A button on the 14 MXR right here. Now let's head over to the right deck. We're gonna head to the button load deck, click that button, it will turn red, and let's hit load B the load B button on the 14 MXR, okay? That is now MIDI mapped. So let's say you wanna take control of your navigational um, knob, which is right here in the, in the middle of your 14 MXR to scroll through your tracks. Float over the very same looking knob, click on it, go ahead and move your navigational knob. We're gonna go ahead and change the values on this. It says here, press C to change the data type, press tab to reverse. So we're gonna press the C button on our keyboard. We're gonna see we're scrolling upwards. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the tab button and I'm gonna press C on my keyboard one more time. And that should make it work perfectly to scroll down and to scroll up. So let's say we wanna get between our library, the folders in our library, and the tracks that are in that folder. So you're gonna float over the tab focus, you're gonna click it, and you're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use this back button right here on the 14 MXR. Okay guys, once you've MIDI mapped all the basics for your Serato Scratch Live software to get tracks to play, let's get into our DJ effects. We're gonna click on the DJ effects button right here on the Serato Scratch Live software. Okay, that opens up our effects pane. Now let's get to MIDI mapping it. You're gonna click on MIDI, Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's do our first one right here, which is the echo. So you're gonna click on the on button to turn the echo filter on and off. You're gonna scroll over that, hover over that uh, over that button, click it again, and let's go ahead and uh, use the sync button on the 14 MXR to make that now our echo button. Okay. And now we want to be able to turn it off and turn it on with a knob. So we're gonna scroll over that uh, same looking knob on the Serato Scratch Live software. Click it again. And let's use the LPF HPF uh, filter button on MIDI Log Channel 1. Okay, there we are, we're all dialed in now. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's activate a flanger. We're gonna hover over it, click again, and let's use the Q button. Okay, so that's all dialed in. And if you wanna go ahead and uh, turn that up and down, Let's uh, use the MIDI Log Channel 2 LPF HPF knob. That system right here. Now, really important is this deck one, deck two right here. And what uh, I like to MIDI map that to is to the navigational controls on the 14MXR. So deck one, we're gonna scroll over that. We're gonna hover over it. 
click it again and I like to use the up button right there to activate that and for deck 2 hover over it click again and I use the down so that is now going to go ahead and activate or turn on those effects for deck 1 and deck 2 Now that you've MIDI mapped your American Audio 14 MXR with your Serato Scratch Live software, only thing left to do is load a track and pressing play. And have fun. Thanks for watching. If you require any further assistance setting up your American Audio 14 MXR, 10 MXR, or 19 MXR, you could always contact our toll free customer support hotline Monday through Friday during regular business hours. Practice and enjoy.